he's just a marvelous human being and a wonderful doctor. He's very caring. He's uh, funny. He's animated. And I think above all, he listens. I would describe Dr. Sachs as being an optimist. And by that, I mean he's, he's always very helpful in finding solutions to whatever problem the patient presents him with. Well, I think Dr. Sachs is, is a great example uh, of, a, of a primary care physician. Medicine is very specialized and even subspecialized. There's a need for someone to, a uh, physician that can oversee all of this uh, complexity. For the last, really, 38 years, he's been involved in our life, and we live a third to a half time in Fresno, California. That's our home base, and the other time here in Coronado and elsewhere. And Dr. Sachs has been the coach and quarterback in making all that be so successful. In the last couple of decades, I've had, you know, health issues, you know, which as people age, that's usually what happens. And, and Dr. Sachs has just been uh, excellent. I wouldn't go anywhere else. First, uh, my disequilibrium and headaches that led him to diagnose me with an acoustic neuroma, which is a, a tumor inside the uh, adjacent to the brain. Uh, very scary time in my life. That was followed by the determination that I had Barrett's esophagus. And later, with anemia, uh, Dr. Sachs directed me to uh, a GI doctor that found a bleeding ulcer that was uh, in the process of immediately converting to esophageal cancer, but had not yet done so. And I'm still in the process of being treated for that, which then led, <laughs> led me to, uh, in, in one of the surgeries associated with that, uh, a lymph node was removed and they found a low-grade uh, lymphoma in my lymph node. So as my primary care health giver. He's been key to, really, to my ability to be here today. Jan and I were so pleased to learn that Scripps is honoring Peter by naming the new waiting room for primary care in his name. And we all know he's just an example of what many of these, with probably all of the physicians in primary care have given to their patients. He's touched so many people in such significant ways that it's completely appropriate to honor him. Peter, enjoy your retirement. Uh, I know it's going to be hard for you not to be seeing patients every day, but uh, believe me, there is life after, after practice, and uh, I know that you'll find ways to enjoy it with your wife. Thanks for all the years of care. I want to thank him with all my heart for getting me to 82 years of age. I started around when I was about 40, I guess, or 42. And I am grateful to you beyond all measure. You have not just been my doctor, but you've been a friend and a gentleman, and I always look forward to a hug. Thank you.